Low. <clears throat> Ooh. My throat decided to go. Lovely. My check, my check. How's it going, Dave? Welcome, mate. Callum, long time now see, mate. Welcome. How are we all doing, guys? Hello, Sarah. <laughs> How's he doing, Oz? Welcome, mate. Welcome, mate. Liam. Uh, Retro. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to everyone. Uh, it's got to adjust a few things. Uh, wow, I really can't read. Really can't read chat from there. Uh, how's it going? Um, Fantelis, welcome. Marek, Storm, uh, Thomas, uh, Gangsta, Jinxie, welcome. Captex Live 2. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I didn't realise Captex was live. Uh, welcome, one and all. Quite a few people now. Um, Spartan, I haven't been on Facebook, mate. Um, I'll have to go on later on. Uh, I haven't really been on Facebook, to be honest. How's it going, Andrew? Welcome, mate. To be honest, I've had a lot going on. I'm trying to set up a new PC. Um, well, not PC, a new laptop. Um, let me just see if I can show y'all the new streaming laptop. Yeah, there's a new streaming laptop. Looking uh, pretty smooth there. Pretty nice. That's nice. Yeah, it really is, mate. I should bloody hope so for 900 quid and all. <laughs> I should hope so for 900 pound. Um, this is a... Uh, one second, I'll pull up the specs. Um... Smash a like. Cheers, mate. So I'm just trying to just trying to adjust this again now. Might take a few seconds. Uh right, specs. Uh I've upgraded it a little bit from from factory. Uh let me see if it's gonna load up my um desktop. I know I've got a black screen. There you go. Um Yeah, so there's the specs. It's got uh, AMD Ryzen, AMD Ryzen seven forty eight hundred H. Um, it's got a RTX twenty sixty graphics card, twenty four gig RAM. It was originally three gig. Uh, it was originally twenty uh, eight gig, but I've upgraded it to twenty four. Um, it had a two hundred and fifty gig M dot two SSD. But I've put in another 250 gig SSD and a 500 gig, uh, another 250 gig M.2 SSD and a 500 gig normal SSD. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, so fairly, fairly decent spec. Uh, now it's it's 900 pound, 900 British pound. Um, everything went blurry. Yeah, sorry, mate. Um, I've seen the latest video from Andrew Paul on the PS4 boot loop. I haven't, mate, to be honest. I haven't seen it. How's it going, Richie? Welcome, mate. How's it going, uh, Dennis? Oh, you've sent that drink, so okay, mate. No worries, mate. Uh, yeah, I, I haven't been on Facebook, mate. I, I've been. Well, I've been I've been trying to set this thing up for a few days now. Uh, well, not trying to set it up, but I've been trying to uh, get everything configured and ready for streaming. So it's a little bit. It might be a little bit iffy tonight. It's going to be a couple of days before I can get a new capture card, um, because obviously my other one was PCI Express. So I can't plug PCI Express into the laptop. So I need to get a USB capture card. I have got a capture card for now, but it's not. 
it's not the best. Uh, it's one of them cheap, um, one of them cheap USB ones. Um, how's it going, Lee? More, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, I used to seeing Jason all the time, mate. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going, uh, Never Nuts? Welcome, mate. Stream Deck. Yeah, Callum, mate, yeah. And you know what we say to Stream Decks? We say... Wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah, this Stream Deck was courtesy of uh, Jason's Electronics Repair. So, thanks to Jason for that. Uh, we also say... <laughs> Oh, not wow. We don't say wow twice. When so when when Jason asks me to see his channel in future, it's going to be. <laughs> no 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and when Sarah comes in, when Sarah's in when Sarah's in the stream, it's going to be. Run. <laughs> I couldn't resist it. I'm sorry. Couldn't resist it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we've got to have some fun. we got to have some fun with the memes. Why not? <laughs> it's all in a good day's fun. <clears throat> How long did that take to set up? Not long, mate, to be honest. Um, well, I would show you my desktop, but it's a working. Um, window capture. See, it's not even letting me... Yeah, it's not even letting me load up the Stream Deck. Well, never mind. Poison their toys, yeah. <laughs> I need mental help. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I'm perfectly sane. I'm perfectly sane. Send a horror theme tune. I've got to add them. Um, so I've got to, I've basically, like, when you've got the stream deck, you've got, uh, like, several things. Like, I've got my scene selections. Um... Stuff like that, and then I've got uh, another folder there where I can add sounds to it. So I've basically created my own soundboard using the um, using the Stream Deck. I'm still learning, but for now I'm uh, quite impressed. <laughs> last time I sent, last time you sent me stuff. Well, if you say that again, you better. Uh, Run. <laughs> Alright, that's enough of that. Oh dear. Yeah, so uh, the that wow is from Lewis Rossman's stream, but it's actually a meme that you can download online, which is pretty it's pretty cool. I think it's awesome. Uh cheers Luke, thank you, mate. Uh would you know why your bush TV sound keeps turning off when it gets hot? Um, the thing with TVs is, I mean, I can't fix them here because I'm really limited on space, but, um, the thing with TVs is they're really modular. So if you just type in the model number on, um, on eBay, you'll probably be able to find an AV board. If you send the model number, I'll try and find it for you. Um, so literally you can just take out like 10 or 12 screws on the back, unclip a few wires and just swap out the entire board fairly cheap. Um, so it's like, yeah, it's, uh, they're really simple to fix yourself. You can, they're easier just to replace the boards than they are to actually fix the boards most of the time. Um, and generally a lot cheaper as well. Hello, Callum. Uh, Ethan, sorry. What kind of digital microscope can you recommend? Um, well, I mean, that depends on your budget. I mean, I recommend, I recommend, um, an amp scope and then just get an extra camera, but, um, if you're on a budget, Jason's got a link to, um, Jason's got a link to a 
um, a good cheap microscope that you can just plug into um, plug into the computer. I think I think you can plug it into the computer. Uh, either that, or it's got an on-screen display, and then you can plug it into um, HDMI capture. And the streamed it more than a week and did, did more with it than you. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, I like to learn. You know that. You know I like to learn. You use both scopes now. Oh, okay. Um, there's a link to my microscope in the description. Um, but if you want the one for Jason, Jason should be able to send you a link. Um, and, and, on, and on Star, that's the one. Uh, Lee just said it, yeah. Uh, have you ever tried repairing a power su supply from a PS4? Um, no, mate. I don't. I don't repair power supplies because, for the sake of twenty to thirty pound, it's not worth. It's not worth the risk. It's not worth your life. So I, I don't generally repair them. I'm, I mean, there are people in the, there are people in the Discord who know how to put, who know how to repair them on, and all the common issues and stuff with them. So if you want to hit up the Discord, um. Someone, someone in Discord will probably be able to help you. Um, I'll send you an invite link to Discord. How's it going, Jaden? Welcome. Oh shoot! Service here! Service here! Service here! Run. Oh dear. <laughs> How's it going, who? Welcome, mate. Twat. <laughs> that hurts my feelings. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. When you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> How's it going, Milana? Welcome, mate. <laughs> they ask you how you are. You just Getting mental you're health. Fine. When you're not really <laughs> fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. <laughs> if I hear you coming from outside the workshop. <laughs> Run. Okay. Run. <laughs> I was going to put the oh no thing on there and then I was like, uh, no, that's just way overplayed. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's get to some repairs. We've had some fun. Let's get to some repairs. <laughs> uh, do, 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 Right. So, which one shall I do first? Let's use a random number generator on Google. Let's use a random number generator on Google. So, mean one, max three, one starting from the left. Generate one. Huh, well, that was fun. Well, I guess I'm doing this one first. Doesn't really matter, they've all got to be done, but <clears throat> I guess it's this one first, right? Ticket on the bottom. Did I see my, my mate have been shouted me out in a recent video? Um, no. I know he shouted me out in one around October time. I haven't seen the one... I haven't seen the one from... Um, I haven't seen, seen the one if he'd give me a recent shout out, but I really appreciate it if he has. <clears throat> Can I do your grandsons on stream? Um, I don't know where I've put it. It's done. Um, it's in the house. It's done, but it's in the house. Um, I need to email you actually um, to get you to get your return address and payment details. Um, but yeah, that's that's done, mate. But it's in it's in the house. It's all ready to go back. Uh, right, let me get rid of that camera because we don't need that now. Uh, right, so this one. Not charging a port change, lovely. Right. Yeah, so I'll, I'll drop you an email, like, uh, Ken, when I've um, when I've finished streaming, mate. If that's all right.
He was with a fake game and what he was repairing. Oh, okay. Okay, I haven't seen that. Let's have a look at that. Uh, if you don't know who my mate Vince is, by the way, guys, um, highly recommend checking his channel out. Um, he makes it very clear that he's not an expert at what he does, but he's getting pretty good. To be fair, he's getting pretty good. Um... Game and watch, game and watch. He's on his um He's on his Patreon. Um let me just send a link out to his channel. First time he presses his money he didn't drink his coffee. <laughs> How's it going, Retro? Welcome, mate. Um, let me have a look on his Patreon because I I am a Patreon supporter on his channel. Um, right, let's have a look. Uh, oh shoot, it's a, that's a long account. Hang on. Right, let me log back into the right account. Right, this is my personal account on Patreon. See, he's got a, he's got a liquid damaged PS Five controller. Um, I haven't watched that one yet, actually. Was it a Nintendo Periscope? Um, thank you, Retro, for the five pair, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you, bud. Tronica Shuttle game. Um, oh, okay. I didn't see that five days ago. Okay. I haven't actually watched that video yet. Um... So yeah, I'll uh, I'll check that out later, but I haven't actually watched that video yet. Yeah, don't worry, Lee. I'll watch it later, mate. I um, to be honest, I haven't been on YouTube and watched anything really for a few days. Um, I've been watching the odd film on Netflix, but that's about it. Um, I haven't really had a lot of time. <clears throat> if I'm being perfectly honest, I haven't really had a lot of time. Welcome, Dwayne. Welcome, uh, Micro. Put my name on screen as well. Okay, I'll watch that. I will watch that. You're welcome now. Get to work. <laughs> right, so this one says... Not charging port change. So it's had a replacement port... It's had a replacement port and uh, it's still not working apparently. So let's see what goes on. Okay. Okay. It's turning on. I mean, it says not charging. Okay, that's in Chinese for some reason. That's odd. Uh, yeah, so it says not charging, so, I mean, it's turning on. Right, bear with me. Uh, I need a USB. I need a USB. Huh. Have I really not got a USB-C cable anywhere? Right, bear with me a sec. I'm going to go and get a new, uh, Nintendo Switch charger. I'll be back in a sec, please. Great fix. <laughs> I 
I'll be back in a sec. Hello, I'm back. Okay, sorry about that, everyone. Right. So, apparently it isn't charging. It's turning on, but apparently it's not charging. So, let's have a look. Yep, nada. Nothing at all. Nothing whatsoever. Um. Yeah, okay, cool. So it's turning on, but it's not charging. Right. Let's pair it off. Oh okay, well it's just turned, it's just died anyway, so <laughs> there you go. Right, okay, so um yeah, this is most likely gonna be an issue with M ninety two. I mean I could be wrong, it could be something completely different, could be P thirteen or something. I'm gonna say most likely it's gonna be something to do with M ninety two T thirty six, so should be nice and straightforward. Okay, both them screws are missing. And so is that one. And so is that one. Cool. Plug my Xbox One X power in sudden pop, took the power supply out, and under the big capacitor, uh, and a big black soot around them. Um, looks like something's just suddenly popped, but uh, it's hard to say without seeing it what would have popped and why. Um, but the only thing that you can really do is replace the co components and then hope that that was the faulty component and that it isn't a faulty component. Uh, hope it isn't another faulty component which has caused it to pop. Um, the best thing to do, I mean, if you're capable, get those components replaced and then just hope for the best, basically. Um, but without seeing it, it will be hard to say. Thank you, Oz. I appreciate that, mate. Welcome to the uh, welcome to the members club. Um, it's all it's all machined. Um, black mist. It's all it's all machined. So everything's done. Everything's done by robots these days. Um, pick and, they're called pick and place machines.
All right, I really need to get a new screwdriver. Time for a new iFixit kit, I think. Um, in terms of preventing, it's hard to say, really. I mean, you could, like I said, like I said, you'd need to figure out why those components have, have basically give in. But um, the only way to really prevent it is to replace the components what caused it. So sometimes, sometimes you'll get unlucky and you'll you'll have another component which has caused a knock-on effect to that component because it's the weaker of the two components, if that makes sense. So if you've got, I don't know, two pieces of string. Let's say you've got let's say you've got one wire, and then coming off that you've got one thick wire and one thin wire. If you the, the thin wire is going to be the weaker of the two because it's thinner. So if you've got a fault here on this first wire, then you could then it could burn out this thinner wire before it burns out this this wire that's splitting off into two. If that makes sense, because it's the weakest link. Um, but the the thick wire could be the faulty thing to start with. So. Uh, basically, you just have to figure out what the faulty component is, why it's actually done it, and then replace all of the faulty components. Have I got some new solder? I have. I have indeed. Um, I've I've bought some new sold some new leaded solder from um, from eBay. Um, and it's a lot better than that other stuff. So. Basically, what I've done is I ordered 10 meters of it, I think it was. I think it was 10 meters I ordered, and I tested it out yesterday, and um, it's pretty decent stuff. So I've ordered 176 meters, a full reel. Um, this is the stuff. It come off the reel. Uh, that was the annoying thing. It came off the reel, so it literally came in a big roll, um, but there was no reel on it, so I've had to put this onto a reel. But when the when the um, other stuff comes, it's going to be a full reel, the size of this solder holder thing. Um, so yeah, I have got some new solder. Yeah. Hopefully, it does the job. But it seems okay. Yeah. Um, tell Captech, I'm sorry for. Uh... Not checking him out, mate. I didn't really. I was getting set up when he went live, um, or rather, I assume he was getting. I was getting set up because I, I didn't get a notification on my phone while I had my phone in my hand. Um. <clears throat> no, it's a bit. Luke, it'd be the um, it'd be the model of the actual TV, mate, that you need, um, ideally. Right, that screwdriver's had it. And so have half of these threads on these screws. Uh, original PS4, the controller works in safe mode but won't connect when PC, when PS is turned on. Um, yeah, that is the wi that is likely going to be the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. Um, unfortunately, they're not easy to replace. Um, not for the average user. I mean, they are easy if you know how to do BGA soldering, but they're not easy for, let's say, for example, for, um, for someone who's never soldered before. Um... Is it possible? Yes, because you don't really need, like, it's not really a big deal to reboil them. Um, and the reason for that is because the solder balls are so big. So you can get to, you can get some normal 0.76mm solder balls and place them by hand without a microscope. So in that sense, it would be easy to replace them because um, they don't require, like, a microscope. They don't require any BGA tools to actually, to actually um, replace the module itself. So... Um, in terms of possibility, it's very possible even for a beginner, but it's not going to be easy for a beginner, uh, just because it's BGA and it's BGA is always going to be the more advanced stuff. Uh, but it is, but it is possible. That's your cup. It's mine now. 
<laughs> right, so I'm just going to take this motherboard out. How's it going, Nigel? Welcome, mate. Don't get a charging icon using the Nintendo charger and it doesn't dock. Um, you, if he was testing some new... If he was testing some new chargers, chances are you've probably knocked something while, you're, um, while you've been working. If it's testing new batteries, you've probably knocked something while you've been working on it. Uh, unfortunately, without looking, it's hard to say, but... Um, if it's not charging, you could have shorted something on the M92 circuit, which is actually what I'm dealing with now. Um, I do repairs on other electronics, but it depends what it is because, um, I mean, my specialty is, is uh, consoles, obviously, because I work on them every day. But, I mean, I will work on other devices. It's just, it has to be on the understanding that I, there's a good chance I could screw something up. Um, purely because, you know, I'm not experienced, you know, so, like, for example, disassembly, during disassembly, reassembly, um, I could screw something up. Right, the threads are, um, the threads have all gone on this. Someone's using the electric screwdriver by the look of it. Looks half the threads are damaged. It's really annoying to see that. Again there. Oh dear, never mind. But one thing I'm going to note before I take this out as well is the fact that the... Um, the plastic is damaged around by the charger port, so... Um, so I'm just going to take note of that before I take the board out and start doing any actual work to it. That way I'll cover my own back. Usually I'll do an inspection on them first and then note if there's any damage, but um, these didn't turn up until 5 o'clock. Royal Mail screwed up. They were supposed to come this morning and they didn't turn up till 5 o'clock. Right, okay, so charging port's been changed, yet it's apparently not charging. So let's pop under the scope and uh, do a couple of inspections. Oh, I guess what I forgot. Oh, my ring light, um, the power cables, my ring light's in the house. Damn it. Right. I'm going to go and get it. I'll be back in a sec.
Oh, it's on black, everyone. My friggin' stepson's just flooded the goddamn bathroom. Oh. There's always something. There's always something. Uh, right, let me switch to the capture card. Right, question is, <clears throat> is the capture card going to work tonight? On the right side, you've got a swimming pool. <laughs> Right, I oh, know there's a black screen, guys. Bear with me a sec. Um... Oh, it's going to play up. God's sake. Right. Hang on. Who turned the lights out? <laughs> Bear with me a sec, guys. Oh, something's not working. Something's not working. Come on. Right, hang on. Right, something's playing up. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> I can connect it through a USB, it's just being a pain in the frigging backside. Um, problem is, if I connect it through a USB, it's going to leave a cable running everywhere, because I haven't got it routed in. Right. Just be another second. Just teething problems with the new um just teething problems with the new computer. Um, how's it going, Cam? Welcome, mate. Good to see you back, mate. I think I've got too many devices plugged in, to be honest. Right, that should do it. That should do it. Yay! Right, just a few teething problems. All right, so, yeah, so just to catch you all up, this, just to catch you all up, this switch is uh, turning on but not charging, so 
most likely going to be an issue with M92 T36, which is this chip here. Uh, this is the power management IC for the Nintendo Switch. So, let's check for shorts on these caps. Probably going to be the third cap. That's shorted. No. Oh, hang on. No, maybe not. Well, apparently, there are no shorts on M92. Apparently. Hmm. Odd. Let's check uh, P13. Nope, no shorts. Uh, maybe the video chip. Yeah, I thought it could have been that, but apparently there's no shorts on this one as well. So, um, so yeah, is it something nice and simple like the fuse? Damn it, I hate it when there's flux on the board. Uh, I don't think it's a bad port. The port's been changed, so it shouldn't be a bad port. I hate it when the leaf flux on the board, though. Leaving flux on the port means I can't get to the fuse, or I can't get a reliable connection on the fuse. So, yeah, that's always nice. Right, let's check the fuse. The fuse uh, quite regularly blows, actually, and it does protect M92 when that happens. And uh, nope, the fuse is working fine. The fuse is working fine. Uh, how about this filter here? Filter's good. Coil's working. And no shorts on BQ either. So BQ is a battery management IC. Uh, so BQ is a battery management IC. Um, M92 is a power management IC. And then P13 on the back of the board. This one uh, just here is the video IC. Uh, or, the, or rather the USB-C video IC. Let's check these filters on... Uh, on BQ on P thirteen. Good. 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 Mm hmm. I see this is the annoying thing when there's flux everywhere. You can't get a reliable connection. Good, okay. Filters are good. Right. Let me plug in a charger and just have a look and see what voltage is coming in. Uh, 
and also if anything is getting warm. Right, so we'll check voltage. This end of the fuse. And I get... Damn it, I went into capacitance mode. Ha! <laughs> oh dear. Why am I not getting a reading? Oh, that's better. 15.2 volts. So voltage coming in, so the port should be okay. Um, no, it, it's not... It's not a P13 change. Um, the guy who's worked on this can't do micro soldering. He can't do any kind of IC work at all. So literally the way he even does a, a charging port is to use uh, an ATIR Pro rework station. Um, and then just heat up from the top with the top plate. And that's how he removes the ports. He has a good success rate with the port replacement, but... Uh, in terms of any kind of micro soldering, you can't do any of that sort of stuff. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's one of them things. That's why all of these come to me when they need any kind of diagnostics or anything like that. Uh, right, let's check voltage here. I get sorry, not here. Um, Where am I checking? Why am I getting no readings? What the hell? I should be getting readings there. And I'm not. I'm not getting nada. Nope, not getting nothing there either. So why am I only getting readings? There and there only. Actually, I'm not even getting a reading there now. Why am I getting no voltage? I was literally a minute ago, I was getting... Um, 15 volts on that fuse. Now I'm giving nothing. Yeah, I'm literally giving nothing now. It could well be the port. It could well be the port. Right, it's not... Now I'm getting 5.25 volts. It's not negotiating 15 volts now. But I'm not getting nothing. So has that, has that fuse just blown? I'm getting 5 volts one side, but I'm not getting nothing the other side. So has that fuse just blown? Has that fuse just blown? Because if it has... And I want to know why. That's the fuse just there, by the way, that, um, that, I'm, that I'm talking about. Interestingly, that fuse doesn't look good. But just that area in general doesn't look good. Um, yep. Yep, that fuse has just blown. So, if the fuse has just blown, then chances are the M92 is bad as well. And that, that fuse has just blown because of M92. Uh, I doubt very much it's going to be a bad installation of the port. I'm going to double check inside the port and make sure. But it does say on the description that the, um, the port's already been changed. So... Right, let me try and get 
into focus. Yeah, port looks mint. It looks mint. Let me check the pins actually as well. Let me check these pins. Um Oh, you mean this here? No, that's um, that's a diode array, but on some boards they're not actually there. But the, the console will actually work without the diode array as well. Uh, I mean, the port's not... That's not installed the greatest, but it is there. And I am getting voltage to that. Um, to the fuse so I'm going to say um, let's see if M92 is shorted now actually let's see if we've got any shorts on M92 now because if that fuse has just blown something's caused that to blow Nope, apparently not. Nope, apparently not. Apparently there's no um no shorts on, on M ninety two. Um hmm. Odd. It's a bit odd how that fuse would just blow randomly like that. Um, well, I'm going to find a board with a fuse on now. <laughs> That's going to be uh, fun. That's going to be fun. Um, has that one got one on? I think he has. I think he's just got a big blob on it. Has he? I don't know. Can't tell. Is the fuse under there or is it just a big solder blob? <clears throat> it's just a big solder blob. <laughs> Lovely. Um oh, I don't know if I've got a fuse now. <laughs> actually yeah I have. I've got I've got a board in the ace with a fuse on, actually. Saying that. I am gonna board in the ace, so I'm gonna grab one. Right, I've got one. Problem is, I only get one shot at this with this fuse. Because this is the only fuse I have. I don't have any new fuses. Um. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering if I should bridge the fuse until I know it's charging. 
and then change a fuse last minute. <clears throat> That's what I'm wondering. This is this is the board with a working fuse on it. Um, hello, Mr. Popular. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Uh, right. Um, yeah, so that fuse is good. So I'm, I'm wondering if I should just bridge this fuse with a solder blob until I know full well that it's working. And just to be clear, I would never, ever recommend bridging a fuse but <clears throat> for testing purposes it's fine as long as it's not left like it i need to buy some more fuses but yeah for testing purposes it's fine but <clears throat> use a hot tweezers i don't even know where i put them mate to be honest Oh god, you can actually see the um You can actually see that starting to break away. So Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna solder blob it for a few minutes just to just for testing purposes. <clears throat> But no, I would never recommend doing this as an actual fix. Yep, now I've got continuity there. But all I want to do is just figure out what's actually causing it to blow. So it should be fine. But now it should be fine. All right, let's plug that in. And then let me see if it's negotiating 15 volts or not. So, voltage mode. Yes, it's, it's negotiating 15 volts now. Um, so because the current can pass through and it can actually go through to M92, it's negotiating the 15 volts. Um... If in doubt, link it out. Um, they've got to be um, they've got to be very specific fuses, mate. Um, I think it's a three point five amp fast blow fuse, um, but they've got to be very very specific fuses. Um, I have that's the thing. I have got a I bought a thousand of them, and I do not know where they went. I literally bought a thousand of them, but I don't know where I put them. I had them, and then I lost them. I could I could use um I could use a zero ohm link. I could use a zero ohm link, but um yeah, it's whether I've got it's whether I've got any. Right, bear with me a sec. I'm just gonna have a look in some boxes. Actually, let me see if anything's getting warm. Uh, actually, let me let it cool down first, more to the point. Uh, yeah, I'm completely out of fuses on donor boards as well, mate. Completely out on donor boards. Well, I've got one. That's why I'm reluctant to put it on, because I've, I'm, I've literally got one shot. If I've only got one, I've got one shot, and that's it. So, I'm going to be careful. Yeah, do 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 No. Nada. Yeah, so I'm going to let this cool down. Hundred thousand fuses all gone. <laughs> no, I just don't know where I've put them, mate. <laughs> I genuinely don't know where I've put them. Well, I'm going to blow some cold air at this so I can cool it down quicker.
Ow. Friggin' hair's still hot. Huh. Uh, no, nah, they're not the same, mate, on the PS4s. Um, get me to recommend you to what, mate? Oh, to Virgin Media. I can do, yeah. I can recommend you to Virgin Media. That's still blowing hot. Still blowing hot air. Ah, uh, forget it. It's probably cooled down enough now, anyway. Yeah, I could recommend you, mate, yeah. If you want to send me an email, I can use your email address and send you a referral to Virgin Media. Xbox Power Rail is fast blow. Um, it's yeah, but it's going to be a much higher amperage. Yeah, uh, this is going to be a three point five amp. Um, yeah, it's warmed it up more. So <laughs> it's still blowing warm air. Never mind. What are the installation fees like? Um, I don't think I'll pay an installation fee, to be honest. We're going from a regular telephone line to fibre. Alcohol to your friend. Good point. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, that will, that, will, um, that will help me to find some shorts. Or to find if anything's getting warm. Uh, that's a very good point. Hmm, interesting. Is that MOSFET getting warm? Was that MOSFET getting warm then? Nah, I don't think it is. Hmm. It's hard to tell. Uh, you know what I think the best thing to do is? I think it's best to just see if it charges. Like, put it back into the house and see if it charges. Um, <clears throat> I think that's probably the best option here. Pop it back in the housing, see if it charges. If it charges, just change the fuse. Um, it could just be that the fuse was maybe on its way out because of a shorted, shorted um, charger port. That's a possibility. Let's just see if it charges, shall we? I'm going to be clear again, I'm not going to be leaving the fuse bridge like that. I just don't want to change it um, to have it blow again. Yeah, it's charging. I think it was just a fuse. Most likely just a fuse. Uh, cheers, uh, Kiki. Thanks for hanging out, mate. Virgin is something around the lines of £150 from cab to link, 75 from link to house. Um, yeah, I've never had... I don't think I had installation fees. Um, maybe if they've got to dig up the road, you might have some. Right, so that's charging. So I'm going to change the fuse and um, call it done. 
I think. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't think I don't think I had fees, but Virgin Media has always been available in my area. So, um, in terms of dedicated lines, I don't know. Um, but for a residential, I never had um, I never had any fees. Free spray is better. Um, I don't like free spray because it can it can cause condensation and co and cause cause things to corrode. Um, like free spray is okay if you know how to use it properly, but I've never used it, so I've I've never been keen on the idea that we're using free spray. How's it going, Brandon? Welcome, mate. But yeah, I've never personally been a fan of free spray. Right, so let's just get this fuse changed then. So I'm assuming that it's literally just a fuse. How's it going, uh, Bunte? Welcome, mate. I mean, that there is a little bit weak as well. If you look just there, um, looks like a little bit of a burnt line. Oh shit, that's you don't even know what I want to do, what I've just done. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong syringe, that's thermal paste. <laughs> oh, it's everywhere. Oh dear. Is it not tempting to reset the charge port? Nah. Um, there shouldn't be an issue with the charge port, but I am going to touch up those pins on the back. <laughs> I grabbed the wrong syringe. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, the power of editing. Thank God this one live. I mean, uh, what? Wait, what? Oops. <laughs> Oh dear. Nothing a bit of isopropyl alcohol won't fix. Keep all the things cool. Well, just stop the fuse from burning out, won't it? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely a broken line there, look. Um Yeah, so that has got hot. I'm wondering if I should have changed that MOSFET, just in case. Hmm. Nah, I don't think it. I don't think it really needs to be bridged, does it? Thank you, Dad. I appreciate that, mate. Managed to fix a Nintendo Switch USB port and M ninety two. That's awesome, mate. That's fantastic. That's what the channel's here for, mate. Just to try and get people to repair their own stuff and maybe get into repairs as an actual hobby or or an actual job. Uh, but that's that's awesome, mate. That's that's really nice to hear. It's always nice to get some sort of feedback from people that have possibly never done it before. Um, who've managed to use the videos to to help them to fix something. Hopefully I'll start getting some PS5 issues in soon. And uh, I've actually got... Actually, I'll ask you all a question. Shall we explore a PS5 motherboard together? Or or should I just do normal repairs? I've got a PS5 motherboard in the house. Shall we explore a PS5 motherboard together? There you go. That looks better. million times better 
<clears throat> PS5. <laughs> Jason, get your notebook out. <laughs> right, down the board time. Let's get you in focus. There you go. Um, I haven't got a digital edition, mate. I've only got disc edition. I've only got a disc edition board, unfortunately. Um, I've got my own PS5. I could strip that down on stream. I do want to find out if it's possible to um, replace the SSD on a PS5. That's going to be coming very soon. I got that PS5 board today, the PS5 donor board. Um, so I'm probably one of the only people... I'm probably one of... Maximum going to be one of, like, 100 people in the country or in the world to have spare parts of the PS5 donor board, PS5 motherboard. There can't be many people with spare parts. Wait, what the hell? Really? Friggin' thing turned itself off. Have your own computer repair shop in... in Comsit. Oh, that, mate, that's awesome. Yeah, if that... If that helps you to, um... expand your services, that's absolutely fantastic, mate. I started off with computer repairs myself, so... Yeah, that's absolutely awesome. Oh, so there's that, there's that fuse on. Um, you know what? I'm going to change this MOSFET because even though I can't confirm whether or not there's any issues, if you take a look at the actual area, it could well have an issue. Like we've got damage to the trace here. There was there was a little bit of damage to the actual fuse where the fuse had burnt out. Um, and the only things that are linking them is this MOSFET. Or well, the first thing in the line what's linking them is this MOSFET. So I'm going to change this MOSFET anyway. Not because I think it's full table, but just as a precautionary measure. Just purely as a precautionary measure. Because it's, it's going to take me, what, two minutes to change the MOSFET? So purely as a precautionary measure, I'm changing the MOSFET. Right, I'm going to pull one off uh, off a donor board in a second. I just need to uh, prep this area. But yeah, purely for precautionary measures, just in case. I may as well replace it. Hmm. I'm in need of new tips. Am I using a new microphone? Uh, no, I'm using a new computer, mate. So I haven't quite got the audio set up the way it was before. Uh, but that said, I'm using RTX Voice now for the... Um, I'm using RTX Voice for the audio filters now to filter out the background noise, so it might sound a little bit different to what it usually does. Uh, well, I'm going to wick this off and just start again.
does it sound any different to what it usually does? And I've done a couple of sound checks, but I haven't really done a lot of testing with it. So this is more of a test stream than anything. Did I build a new PC? I didn't, mate. I bought I bought um I bought a new laptop. Um I bought a new gaming laptop with uh, RTX 2060 in it. Uh, not that I'm going to be gaming on it, but I'll be using it as a streaming, using it as a streaming laptop. But the good thing is, if I ever want to do a live stream away from the workshop, it gives me that option. And plus, I was doing an upgrade. I needed an upgrade. I really was. I really was overdue an upgrade. New mic sounds great. Uh, can't hear the can't hear the dog barking. <laughs> you know what? RTX voice should take care of a lot of those issues with the background noise. <laughs> Until he comes in looking five miles wide. Yep. <laughs> yeah, mate, that's... Uh... What size is this? Um... Not a clue. Jason, are you still online, mate? Uh, what size is this Chemtronics wick? Is it 0 0.8 mil? Can hardly hear the hot air gun. That's cool, man. I I haven't really done. I mean, I've done tests, but I haven't done a lot of tests. But I haven't filmed. I haven't filmed a repair on the new laptop yet. I've only had it for two days. Right, I'm just gonna grab a MOSFET off a diner board. My age is showing. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> Cheers for that. Hey, I'm only 32. Same age as Lewis Rossman. I think we literally got a birthday a couple of days apart. Pretty sure of it. Oh, anyone who's wondering, was it my birthday last week? Nope. My sister decided to change my Facebook um, info. Just to troll me. Should be good enough. So we'll clean it with a bit of isopropyl alcohol. Let me know, guys, if you can hear a motorbike in the background just then. Or just now, in fact. <clears throat> Uh, well, solder joints on them look good. Um, yeah, I mean, that's not perfect, but it will certainly do. 
Mm, let's try and clean it up a little bit more, actually. <clears throat> no, I'm out of like, oh, that's cool. What temperature do I have when I'm desoldering? Um, on the Nintendo Switch, 420 degrees, mate. At 40% uh, airflow. There you go. See, that looked like it pulled itself in pretty far then, but it really wasn't that far. Cool. That's better. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch doesn't need that much heat. No boy cared. Cool. Uh, no problem, uh, Sulla. I hope I didn't put your name there, mate. Well, well, that should be good to go. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that's good to go. That's uh, down a board there. Uh, let me just clean this off. I don't want that all over the screen. Do you not want that all over the screen? Cool. Da 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 dee. Pass for electrical engineer job, filed the qualifications for NASA, NASA electrical engineer. Uh, well, to be fair, mate, I don't think there's many people that are going to pass for, um, for that, especially on the first try. I'm assuming it's your first try, but congratulations on passing the other one, though, uh, mate. To be honest. I mean, a lot of people know already. I've never passed one of. I've never passed any kind of electrical qualifications. Doesn't stop anyone, mate. It doesn't stop anyone. Um, experience trumps qualifications all day. But that said, a qualification obviously is needed for something like NASA. But don't give up. That's all I can say. Don't give up. If you if you if that's something you really want to do, don't give up. Just keep keep trying. I can honestly say, one job I would probably take and give this up for would be working for NASA. Working for NASA would be pro will probably be one thing that I would give this kind of work up for. And I absolutely love this stuff. So if that's something you really want to do, mate, go for it. Try again. And if if you if you don't succeed next time, try again. Just keep trying. Let's put it this way. I know, I know it's I know there's nothing. I know it's not um. I know it's not relevant. My ex failed a driving lessons. Failed a driving test seven times before she passed. Seven times. And then she passed. 
So, yeah. Don't give up. Head for the moon. <laughs> yep. Right, I would... Uh, that would be a dream come true, that would. Even just being, like, in the... Even look, even even just going and seeing like the outer atmosphere in person would be a once in a lifetime opportunity for most people. Most people. Right, I'm gonna put this not fully back together, but back together enough to test everything. Yeah, I would probably give up everything to go and work for NASA. Well, I mean, like, everything like that I do now, like the repairs. I'd probably give up YouTube, to be honest, if I, if I ever got that opportunity. Because that would be a once-in-a-lifetime once thing. Like, you'd never get another chance. Well, you probably would, but you'd have to be pretty lucky to get another chance. If you, if you got an actual job with NASA... And then turned it down. You probably never get offered that job again. I got offered by Console Repair London actually. Console Repair London offered me thirty thousand a year, and I said no. Well, starting starting salary was thirty thousand a year, and I said no. I was like, no, nope, I enjoy what I do too much. Let's be realistic. I don't earn thirty thousand pound a year at the minute. But I enjoy it too much. I enjoy it far too much. I'd have to be offered at least a hundred grand a year. With a minimum term contract. Like a minimum of like five years or something. Uh, but he actually said I could still do YouTube. And I, I was just like, no, I'm not um I'm not giving up what I'm doing here. I enjoy it too much. I enjoy my freedom. Like, I enjoy working. I enjoy working on my own terms. I don't. I can't do the nine to five thing. I cannot do the nine to five thing. It's no fun. Right. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I could have done like I could have done software development if I'd have stuck at it, but I don't know. It's just I've got to be able to enjoy what I'm doing. Like for me to for me to be to stay interested in, it, I've got to be able to enjoy it. Like I enjoy streaming. I enjoy fixing stuff. Um, I enjoy seeing stuff work again after it's been destroyed, and that's why I do what I do. Oh, I've just realised half these screws are not going to screw in properly. Because of that. Because all the threads are knackered. Right. You know what the funny thing is about that thermal paste that I accidentally put onto the board? It's literally the only, only syringe I've got here. That's open. <laughs> Literally the only syringe I've got that's open. <laughs> Typical. Oh, I hate these connectors. Right.
Do 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 do. Yeah, well, the fan's not going to connect it, not going to screw down properly either. Yep, all the threads are knackered. Oh dear, never mind. Right, let's see if this wants to charge now, shall we? Uh... Well, it says it's charging. Right now it's on 1%, so... Let's give it a few minutes to see if it charges properly. Make sure it doesn't um, stop charging as well. Actually, let's flip it around. Let's see if it's charging that side. Yep. Okay, so it's charging both sides. Two percent. Yeah, cool. Charging both sides. Happy days. Happy, happy days. Uh, right, I can't test docking because... Well, I can try and test docking, but I don't think it'll work. Um, because my capture card's playing up. Hate right, these connectors. I really do hate them. There you go. Finally. Cool. Right, I'll test docking. Whether or not it's going to actually dock, I don't know. Or rather, whether it's going to dock and show up on capture card. I mean, it'll show up, but it's whether or not it'll show up for you. See, I can get it to show up on the camera app on Windows, but OBS just likes to play up. Uh, I've got to redo all of my settings and get everything right the way that I did it for the PC. 
And I can't just transfer the settings over either because it's um, it's all different hardware. Hopefully next week I'll be able to sort it all out when I can get a... Well, when my capture card turns up. Why does he keep asking me to log into Elgato? What the hell? He's asking me to log into my stream deck. Is that for that viewers app thing? I don't know. Thank you, Milano. I appreciate that, mate. Okay, stream deck's playing up. Uh, no, the capture card didn't die, mate. I've um, I've got a new PC. Um, I got well, I got a new gaming laptop, which I'm using as a streaming system now. Um, so I was I was long over during upgrades, so I basically got that. Um, ugh, why isn't my uh, why isn't my phone zooming in? I'm gone a minute. Ah, uh, I've lost connection. Whoops. Oh, uh, it's all going. No, I'm not installing a freaking update. Get off. Right, bear with me. I'm gone. I've lost my camera. There we go. But yeah, it's not... Nothing's died, it's just... Um, just upgraded, that's all. Oh dear. Gone and lost connection. No, I haven't got um I haven't lost connection to the internet. I just uh my phone went off. <laughs> if it's not broken, don't fix it. <laughs> well that's on seven percent now, so there is charging. So yeah, job done on that one. Happy days. Uh right, so yeah, I'm going to go and grab... Actually, no, I need to test and see if it docks. Sorry, my bad. Let's just see if it docks. I'm going to be annoyed if it doesn't dock now. Yeah, that's what. That's why I got the... Uh, well, that's one of the reasons I got a laptop instead. There was a few reasons I went for a laptop. The main reason was because I can't get PC parts. Um, because the PC... It's got an 8700K, 6 core 12 thread, it, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the system I've got, but the graphics card was crap. Um, so the graphics card, I think I've told people before where I had to sell my 1080 Ti when my mum passed away. Um, because I had to get some more money towards the funeral. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so I, 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 I sold my 1080 Ti and I was using a MSI AMD graphics card. It wasn't very good. Um, and basically, uh, yeah, it, it was just slow at video editing. So that was the main reason. I wanted the upgrade so I could edit, edit videos. Um, and then the other reason was because I can do it in the house with the laptop. I can just unplug it. Uh, I'm going to buy another charger, so I haven't got to keep carrying the charger around with me. I'm going to buy another power brick, but I think they're going to, it's going to cost me about £60 for a power brick. Um, but I'm going to buy another power brick, just so I haven't got to keep carrying it around with me. Because this power brick is beefy for a laptop. It absolute, it's an absolute beast. Like, to put it into context, that's the power brick. 
and it takes 11 point well it outputs 11.8 amps it's an absolute monster that power brick is um 19.5 volts at 11.8 amps um 230 watts so for a laptop it's a beast um like in terms of power consumption but i'm going to buy another power another power brick so i haven't got to keep carrying it backwards and forwards uh all of a sudden you replaced the screen and felt like an engineer mate that's the start of uh the start of something magical there mate right usb capture card let me see if it's going to work on my usb video bear with me a sec um well i know i've got a black screen just uh just give me a second Uh, right, I'm going to have to deactivate that. Right, this is saying that my, um... This is saying... Oh, shoot. This is saying that my capture card is being used by something else. So what the hell is using my capture card? Ah, oh, shoot. I just lost all the connections again. Whoops. Apparently something's using the capture card. I do not have a clue what could possibly be using it, but something is apparently using it. And that's why it's showing up with a black screen. So, yeah. Right, well, is it going to work now? Probably not. Right, well... No, not even my mouse is working. What the hell is going on? Nope. Capture card's not working. Lovely. Piece of shit. Oh, dear. Not a clue what could possibly be using that. Well, something's using it. And now the Elgato's turned itself off as well. So that's always nice. Well, I'll have to verify that it docks later on, I guess, when I can reboot the laptop. Never mind. Uh, I mean, the green light's coming on on the dock, so I'm assuming it's going to be docking. Uh, it's fine. I don't need to worry about that too much. Uh, right, load up the stream deck. There we go. <laughs> Capture cards having time of the month. It's a piece of shit, mate. It's a cheap £7 thing. I'm going to be getting the... Um, Elgato HD 60S. Um, yay! Now my now it's linked to the uh, Google account. Uh, right, is it going to update the amount of viewers I've got or not? 
See, this should update. This should be showing me how many viewers there is, but it's not. Right, let's delete that. YouTube viewers. Come on. Yeah, it's not gonna want it's not gonna let me. Oh well. Never mind. Oh now he says I've got zero. <laughs> Apparently I've got zero viewers. Come on, update. Yeah, so it should show me a number there that says how many live viewers I've got, but evidently that feature don't work. Oh well, never mind. Right, so that one's done. Um, I'm going to go and take this one in the house. Uh, and I'll show you all that PS5 motherboard. I suspect you were illusions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never mind. But I'll be back in a minute, guys.
Hello. Right. Okay, so here I have a PS5 donor board. Um, this board is dead. It has a eight second blue light of death, <clears throat> which I'm going to try and fix, but not tonight, because, uh, yeah, I don't have the, um, I don't have the other PS5 to hand, my, my own PS5 to be able to use a case and stuff. Uh, but this is the PS5 motherboard. Um, and there's a few interesting things that I want to go over with this. Number one, you'll notice, is this big thermal pad on here. So one thing I wanted to go over is the fact that this appears to be the same PS5 motherboard as the original PS5 motherboards, but it seems to be another a newer revision. And there's two reasons I think it's a newer revision. Reason number one is the fact that there's a big thermal pad here on uh, on the PS5 on this on this revision of the PS5. Um, so there's a big thermal pad. Let me zoom in actually. Fix it into a giveaway. <laughs> oh, we finally. If only I could. Um, yeah, so on this revision of the PS5, there's... Uh, what does the switch battery need to be at before we can pair it on? I'm not sure, mate, to be honest. I think it's about 3.9 volts, I think. I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure on that, mate. Um, Jason knows, I think. Yeah, so... The main concern with this is, or rather one of the concerns with this is that there's a big thermal pad on this revision of the PS5 motherboard. Now, if you look back at the PS5 I worked on on a video that I released a couple of weeks ago, um, what, going on, what, three weeks ago? This thermal pad didn't exist. And the reason for that is because it wasn't originally on the PS5. It's not because it was missing. It's because it wasn't on the PS5. Um, so you've got a big thermal pad here. And also on those thermal pads. Uh, I don't know if that's a thermal pad. Or if it's some, some sort of that viscous paste or something. Whatever it's called. I don't know. But on the original one there was nothing there. It was just blank. But there's also some very thick pieces of metal as well. These things here. And it's not just this one as well. It goes in like um, like a U-shape. So it goes... like The thermal pad will go across here. And then it will go all the way across here. And I think... I don't think they've done that for cooling. Or at least not as a primary concern. I think... And remember this is just my opinion. But I think that the main reason they've done that for bracing the motherboard maybe for bracing the motherboard and i think that there's possibly some sort of um structural issue with the ps5 around by the apu it's viscous pace yeah yeah i thought i thought it might be yeah but um but yeah why would they put these big well i'm assuming these are aluminium i don't know um yeah aluminium um but why would they put these pads here? I don't think this is just for cooling. And more to the point, why wasn't it on the original ones? Why wasn't it on the original PS5s? Even if it is just for cooling, um, you know, why wasn't it on the original ones? That's the concern. So, either, either the, the board has a warping problem and they know about it, or it has a cooling problem and they know about it. But either way, they've made a revision to the board around by the APU. Um, and this isn't the only one that I've seen these braces on. Tronic Fix 
several of the boards that Tronic Street worked on have got these braces on, and then some of them haven't. Um, I've seen... I've opened up... Personally, I've opened up two PS5s myself. One of them had it, and one of them didn't. Um, so I think it's, I think it's literally a 50-50 lottery. Um, but yeah, that's the main concern. Um, Victoria says, so basically they're worried about warping due to the heat. Possibly. Possibly. They're worried about the warping due to the heat. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's hard to say the exact reason for these being here, but this, it's not, it's not just like it's just one, you know, like just sitting there. It's not one. It's all the way across here in like a U shape. So it goes across there and then it goes across there like that. Um, so, so there's a, it, it's not like it's just a tiny piece. So my wondering is, is it to dissipate heat from this area here? Is it to hit, dissipate heat from here? Or is it to brace the board to, um, to basically um, stop it from warping? Another interesting thing about these boards is we all know that they use liquid metal. Um, bear with me a second. So we all know they use liquid metal. But liquid metal is known to eat away at copper. There's liquid metal on this board, um, which I'm going to attempt to clean off and see what kind of damage it's done in the past couple of weeks if any I don't think it has but uh, yeah but yeah that's one of the concerns I don't think that's actually done any damage but it can and it will eventually do damage But that is one of the concerns about the PS5. The second one is this crap here. And that ties into the liquid metal. So the second concern I've got is we've obviously got this um, this foam stuff around here. So there's this stuff here. This, um, this foam adhesive thing. But then here We've got this stuff here as well, which is protecting the um, protecting the APU. Now, the problem with this stuff here is, and I've verified this on another board, this melts. Now, the temperature it melts at, I don't know. Um, I don't know the exact temperature it melts at, but it does melt under heat. Now... If, for example, this, because the PS5, it doesn't shut down straight away when it's overheating. Um, I don't know exactly what temperature it shuts down at, but it doesn't shut down straight away. And I'm wondering if there's a possibility of this melting under heat before the console shuts down. That is a possibility. And if this melts and the liquid metal seems to make its way through to these um, components on the APU, then that's obviously going to be a massive, massive problem. But the main problem is for reboiling. So if there is an issue with the APU or, or with the... Um, if there is a heat issue with these, then that heat issue is going to cause a knock-on effect on the APU itself. And if there's a, if there's a knock-on effect on the APU itself on the solder balls, then they're going to need reboiling like the PS4s do. If that's the case, we can't reboil them because this melts. So as soon as we put this onto a hot air station, which I've done, I've done this on a PS5 motherboard, um, but as soon as we put this onto a BGA rework station to actually lift this APU off, it's game over. Because this is going to melt as soon as you put any kind of heat on it and you're never going to be able to apply liquid metal again. So that's another concern. Um... <laughs> Another concern 
is the SSD. Yep. Yep, oh, I said it. Uh, the SSD is a problem. Uh, I've seen several instances, not in person, but on videos. I've seen several instances of games crashing. Games that are installed as... Um, games that are installed as uh, downloaded games, not as disk games, not as disk-based games. So there's several game, several consoles out there which are crashing. Uh, and there's also consoles that are not allowing the, allowing a reinstallation of the software. Um, so one of the problems with that <coughs> is these are soldered. So this is not going to be something that the average person is going to be able to replace. One thing I am going to do, purely uh, trying to fix tried it. Uh, try what, mate? Yeah, serious flaws, yeah. Um, yeah, so basically what I'm going to be attempting to do in the next couple of days, this donor board is mine. This was given to me. And there's six tips on here. One, two, three, and then three on this side. Four, five, six. So that's the six tips that make up the distro that make up the SSD array. Uh, or the array of chips that make up the SSD. Um, judging by if we look at the actual SSD itself under the scope, judging by the size of the chip. And the fact that I can see five balls on each side, so five balls on each corner, these are going to be, I would say, 0.5 millimeter balls. And bear with me, yeah, 0.5 millimeter balls. It looks like there's no balls in the middle. And I'm going to say we're going to have. Let's just try and gauge this a little bit. Let's try and gauge it slightly. Uh, so I'm going to say that's going to be a 5 by 20 array. So it's going to be around about 200 balls on each chip, I would say. Around about 200 balls on each chip. Now, if we've got to replace the uh, SSD, that's going to be uh, 1,200 balls. And that's not including the controller. This is the controller for the SSD, this chip here. Uh, or at least as far as I know, this is the SSD controller. I could be wrong. Actually, that might be some sort of north bridge. No, that can't be a north bridge. It can't be a north bridge. It's got to be the controller for the chip, for the uh, SSD. No one's used North Bridges for years. Uh, but what I'm going to be attempting is I'm going to jeopardise or risk jeopardising my own PlayStation 5 in the name of science. Because I want to know if it's possible to actually replace the SSD. Like, yes, it's not going to be an easy job, but is it possible to actually replace it given the right amount of skill? Uh, given the right amount of skill, is it possible to replace that SSD? That's the question. If anyone wants that chip number, there it is. Uh, I don't know the manufacturer. I'm assuming it's going to be a Toshiba or something. No, don't do that. Mate, I've got to. I need to. It was one of the reasons I bought the PS5. It was genuinely one of the reasons I bought the PS5 was to replace that. Attempt to replace that chip. Uh, the SSD. Um, worst case scenario is it's not going to work and I'm, I can just replace my own I can just place my own SSD back in. Uh I can just, yeah, I can just reball my own SSD and put that back on. Worst case scenario. Now, if this is a case of you can replace the SSD, 
then it's going to be a very expensive fix. Because judging by that, there's at least 1,200 balls to replace. Unless you know exactly which chip is faulty. That's what I need to find out, uh, Paul. I need to find out if they're married to the board. So, in the name of science, like I said, I'm going to be lifting this SSD off this donor board and putting it onto my own... Um, onto my own console and just seeing if it's possible to actually replace it. Um, yeah, cheers, Chris. Thanks, thanks a lot for hanging out, mate. But yeah, I want to figure out if it's possible to um, to replace that SSD. They are all the same chip, so I don't think it's going to matter which which way they go as long as it gets formatted. I don't think they would be married to the controller, to be honest. Actually, they might be. They may be married to the controller. <laughs> yeah, cheers, mate. Now, it, it, listen, honestly, I know, I'm, I know I've, I'm running the risk of... Um, I know I'm running the risk of destroying my own PS5. But, I mean, let's be real. The YouTube video I make off it should pay for it. It should pay for it. And I'd, I'd, at least, hey, at least I'd have some spare parts. Usually maybe by encryption. But if you format it, is that going to... Um, if you format it within software, is that going to work? Um, like I'm, I'm not going to do it on stream. I need to take as much care as I possibly can. I'm not going to do it on stream. Uh, actually, is this even a BGA chip? That's the question. Is it even a BGA chip? Because looking at that, I don't think that's a BGA chip. I honestly don't. It's only learning from Crapple. Pretty much, mate, yeah. I don't think that's a BGA chip. Should we lift one off? Should we lift one off and try and find out what it is? Because I don't think that's BGA. Looking at that chip, I don't think that's BGA. Best case scenario. Yeah, if it's not BGA, it's going to make it so easy to replace. To replace. I mean, I've got to lift one anyway, right? I've got to lift one anyway. So let's take a look under it. And let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Um, right, why is, my, why is my camera not working? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. What's going on with my camera? Bear with me. Yeah, let's try and lift the chip off, shall we? Because I've got to get one off anyway. Right, what I am going to do is... I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to take a few precautions. Um, so I'm going to try and preheat the board a little bit first. So I'm just going to hover the heat at a distance. What are we doing? Uh, we're just experimenting with the PS5 motherboard, mate. Thank you, uh, Cristobal. I appreciate that, mate. Yeah, 100% I'll be making a video on this. 100% I'll be making a video, but I want to find out whether they're actually BGA or whether they're... Um, 
or whether them just normal QFN style chips. Judging by the part numbers on them, it's not going to make a difference what orientation the chip's going as long as it gets formatted. Right, so now I've now I've got some heat in the board. I can come in with the uh, hot air a little bit more. So let me turn the let me turn the fume extractor on. Let me know if you can hear this fume extractor, guys. I'm turning it on in three, two, one. So let me know if that fume extractor sound disappears. Any news on the new shed? Uh, not yet, mate. No, I'm trying to get prices, to be honest, on um, on the materials I need. Yeah, it's BJ. Oh, wow. That's a lot of balls. I've got it stuck to the big copper plate as well. That is a lot of solar balls. That is a lot of solder balls. Alright, let's have a look at this under the scope. Actually, it's not that much. <laughs> wow. Oh, yeah, the CPU has a lot more, yeah. What a load of balls. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going, to be, I'm going to be doing that as, uh, as a video, uh, David. Oh yeah, guaranteed. I could probably get fifty bucks for this um, for this one SSD chip. Yeah, almost guaranteed. Um, you know what? Let's let's pull some more people in. Let's uh, tell you what. Let's do this. Let's change the title. Let's change the title. There you go. E.
Yeah, there's quite a lot of money on this board. Um, quite a lot of money indeed on this board. Got the, uh, you know, you got you got the HDMI encoder. You've got the the power management ICs. You've got the SSD. You've got the safe bridge. Uh, all sorts of stuff. 132 balls. Is that how much it is? Jesus. That's not that bad, actually. 132 balls. Oh, that title is an eye catcher. <laughs> how much don't know to do the swap life? <laughs> Oh man, that'd be uh, that'd be a bit of a nightmare. <laughs> uh, spelling error. It's a bit. Ah oh, yes, yeah, so there is. Whoops, my bad. Updated. Right. Let's be the first in the world to reboard an SSD on a PS4, shall we? Yeah. Stuff it. Let's be the first in the world to reboard an SSD on a PS5. Just done half the job. <laughs> Very true. Very true. Exclusive to the title. <laughs> oh dear. I'll tell you what. Let's make the title even more interesting. There we go. Updated. There we go. Let's make it more interesting. Right, judging by this, there's, these are probably 0 0.5 mil. I could get PCB way to make me a custom stencil for this. They are the channel sponsor. I could get PCB way to make me a stencil. And then mass produce them. That would do it for me... Well, for free, actually. They'll probably produce about 100 of them for free for me, as a video. But I'd have to, I'd have to get dimensions. I'd have to get dimensions. Uh, 
How would you identify which ones were working? Um, that would be the difficult part, mate. That would be the difficult part. Um, I mean, if you could somehow... Like, you could, use, you could probably use a thermal camera and see if any are getting hot. Um, assuming them are the same as a RAM chip, you could probably see if some of them are getting hot, maybe. Uh, and if one's getting hot and the rest are not, then chances are that's your faulty one. So that would be one way to tell. Um, reliably every time, hard to say. Very hard to say. Wondering if there are any caps connected. There will be capacitors on that line, yeah. On these lines. Guaranteed. Guaranteed there'll be caps on the line. Right. Let's uh, just add a little layer of flux. So realistically, I mean, this is... This is exactly the same as um, any other BGA chip, really. You can reball any chip by hand. You don't need a stencil. But it's just a pain in the backside when there's hundreds and thousands of balls. I'm going to turn the fume extractor off for a bit because it's a bit loud. I don't need it yet anyway. So, yeah, but I mean, like, it, it's pretty much the same as any other chip, really. Right, let's, let's have a look at 0.55mm balls. So, I'm assuming it's going to be around that size. 0.55mm look. Pretty spot on. Yeah, so 0.55mm balls. That looks pretty dead on, really. A pretty good guess on my part. Right, so let's let's chuck 0.55 mil balls on it then. That'll do. <laughs> More than enough. It's better to have too many than not enough, though. Because taking taking excess balls off is fine, but adding Adding new balls on afterwards, that's the pain in the backside. So a lot of people over here now will never have seen me do this. And they might not think it's possible. Uh, I'm actually going to start from the other side because I'm left-handed. So uh, I say this all the time, but it's true. It's kind of like writing on a chalkboard. If you're left-handed, it's very difficult because you end up rubbing it out. So if I start from the left-hand side being left-handed, I'm just going to be knocking solder balls all solder balls all over the place as I'm going along. Right, so I've just got to get into the rhythm. I'm actually going to use a different pair of tweezers because they're too thick. I mean, in terms of quantity, if you've just got to do one of these, it's not that many. If you've got to do all six, then it's going to take a while. And then on top of that, there's the controller as well. Now, talking of the controller, while I'm doing this, talking of the controller, I don't think it's going to be tied to the actual chips. I think the controller is going to be tied to the board. But I don't think the actual chips are going to be tied to the controller because it's a little bit too much. It's a little, it's a little too much logistics for Sony to have to tie six chips on each board to the controller, unless it's done at factory by the manufacturer of the controller, which is doubtful. Um, 
I mean, yes, I know some SSDs are, to, are tied to the controller, but I'm pretty sure you can change just the individual chips. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't know. There's only one way to find out, and that's to try it. Now, worst case scenario is I'm going to end up having to put my own SSD chip back on. But what I do plan on doing is using the BGA rework station to remove my SSD chip. Um, and the reason for that is because if I don't, then uh, if I don't and these are heat sensitive, then it's going to ruin my own chip. And obviously I don't want that. Looks like I missed a lot. No, nah, not not much, mate. This is really all you've missed is me removing the chip from the um, PS4 donor board. Uh, PS5 donor board. I've got to get used to saying PS5. Right, here's where the issue is going to be with this. There's a lot of white space here. So I've got to get used to the positions of the actual solder balls themselves because once the ball's actually on the pad you can't see the pad can you do this in time lapse I can make a time lapse of it yeah uh, well I plan to make this into a video so Yeah. I am in two minds whether to actually replace the entire SS... Well, to replace this one chip on my own PS5 on stream. Just for the stream dream. What do you guys think? Should I do it on my own PS5 on stream? Because I can turn it... I can turn it into a video, I can do a voiceover. Do it. Do it now. I'm sure someone offered a rather substantial donation if I do it. No, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it for donations, guys. I'm doing it for science. I want to know if it's possible. And I'm sure you guys do too. Ah, shoot. See, that's what I mean. Oh, you never mind. You can't even see. <laughs> Jason's like, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Jason offered a rather substantial donation for me to do it now. I heard Jason's going to do a strip stream if I do this on stream. So I've got some advice for everyone. Run. Right, I've got some... Uh, I'm not concerned about positionings for now. I can straighten them all up in a minute. I just need to get them all onto the pads so I know where they've got to go. Because like I said, there's a lot of white space on these chips. Basically, what I mean by that is there's no pad. I <laughs> regret the stream deck already. <laughs> Oh dear. Why do I have to get emails come through when I'm trying to concentrate? I 
I'm already trying to pay attention to chat and reball, and I see that I've never reballed. I suppose if this works, I'm going to be a legend, so. <laughs> My name will go down in history. PS5 with balls out now, that's a new saying. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear me. I've got to turn this radiator off down by me down by my leg in a minute. I keep burning myself. It's not needed so much now anyway. Well, I don't need nowhere near that many balls, so Let's just get a load of them off. Did someone uh, did someone give a number on how many balls there was on this? Did someone count them? I know someone said a number, but I don't know if it was accurate or not. Damn it. One sec. I'm just going to clean my tweezers. Hundred and thirty two. Okay, cheers guys. It's not too bad. Hundred and thirty two balls. Damn it. Unless your finger sticks to the mat and then suddenly lets go. <laughs> Can you tell I haven't done this for a few months? Actually, yeah, you know what? It's been a couple of months since I last reborn by hand. At least a month.
Damn it. They keep sticking to the tweezers now. It's always when you get close to the end that you start to start to encounter problems with them. Right, I'm going to switch to the other side of the tweezers. I apologise not paying attention to chat, by the way. I'm sure you guys will be okay to just talk amongst yourself for like five, ten minutes. I'll get quicker at doing these. That's for sure. But when you don't know the positioning of the um, the pads off the top of your head, it does it does take a little bit of getting used to. I think these, it looks to me like these are on a one millimeter pitch. Maybe 1.2 millimeters. Um, by pitch, I mean the distance between each ball. So it's looking like 0.55 millimeters and a one millimeter. 1 millimeter or 1.2 millimeter pitch um, is the layout for these. Does anyone know if there is actually a stencil available for them? Damn it. They're all sticking. It would be a lot better if there's a stencil available for it, if it is possible to replace them. Come on, get off my tweezers. <clears throat> I'm just, clean, just cleaning my tweezers for the last little bit. Wouldn't this be covered under warranty? Uh, this is a donor board, mate. The PS5 I'm going to be attempting to put this chip on is my own. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's purely for science. But no, this particular motherboard wasn't covered under warranty. Uh, or rather, the motherboard that this come off wasn't covered under warranty because it had HDMI damage. And the technician who worked on it killed it. Um, it did something to it which caused it to no longer turn on. So it wasn't covered under warranty, unfortunately. Right. Thank you, Milano. I appreciate that five dollars, mate. Thank you for that. I'm gonna have to switch from my uh, wireless mic soon, by the way, because the batteries are running a little bit low. Right. I'm just going to move some of these balls out of the way. Satisfying seeing them all in place, yeah. Even more satisfying when you know you haven't got to do any more. Actually, I find it quite relaxing to be honest. Doing this by hand, you'll be amazing. You'll be amazed how relaxing it actually is. Run. Oh shit! 
That was my bad. I didn't mean to press that then. <laughs> Whoops. Didn't take too long. Nah, I mean, I could probably get this down to around about 10 minutes per chip, I would say. Um, 132 balls, probably around about 10 minutes a chip, given the layout. Thank you, Cooks. I appreciate that. How's it going, Sean? Welcome, mate. Uh, I'm good, thank you, mate. How are you, bud? Right, so... There's almost all of the solder balls moved off the side. So the reason I move the solder balls out of the way, out of close, pro close proximity, is because when I use hot air in a minute, I don't want them to end up rolling onto the chip and undoing all the work I've just done to it. Good luck with the reboarding. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. All right, so I'm assuming that we've got a ball on every pad. Uh, there's a stray ball. Two stray balls are that. They would have caused problems. <laughs> nah, I wouldn't hit the chip. I'm the professional, remember. <laughs> right. One ball on every pad. Good. Not a big deal that some of them are out of place. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat that, Scott, but yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I need to adjust my airflow. Right, so I'm going down to 5% airflow and sneeze. I could move this around. Ah, no, don't roll off. That was genuinely me moving the map, by the way. The flux holds are in place. Right, so five percent airflow, and I'm, I'm I'm at a fair distance away from the chip, just so I can flow them into place and lock them in before I increase the airflow. Always want to start off with really low airflow. If you're using a blue mat, a little word of advice would be to um. Press down on the map with something. Just to stop it from expanding. And then keep an eye on every single ball. Just to make sure that none of them are going to merge. And they're all starting to pull into place. So I'm going to come in a little bit closer. Okay, that's good. I'm going to increase to 15% airflow. And reflow it again. This time I can start moving, moving air around because they're not going to fly off everywhere now. Just try and pull these in as much as I can before I add any flux.
don't think they're going to pull in any more than they already have though. So now I'll add a bit of flux. There we go, that'll do. Whoops, hang on. A little bit more there. Increase the airflow to 30%. And now they'll all flow into place properly. Or they should anyway. Right, you're going to see them all pull in now. Any second now. So we need a tiny bit more flux. Just there. Increase to 40% and that should be the final reflow. That one ball, third from the right, third row down should put itself in perfect One ball dry, that could hurt. <laughs> All on his own with no flux, yeah. Yeah, you do get that from time to time. But that looks beautiful. Right. Thank you, Matthew. Very pretty balls. <laughs> Oh, there's testers out there. Oh, okay. Interesting. I might have to look into that. But yeah, there we go. Um, no flux given. Damn right. But there we go. Um, one perfectly reballed chip. Good job now, break your PS5. <laughs> right, well, for some reason, every time I go onto the scope cam for so long, this uh, stupid ass phone wants to lock and stop me from using my camera. Ah, oh, shit. But never mind. Exposure, go away. Well, there we go. Um. Have a look at the chat. Uh, send some send some links. Um, oh, I can't see you, Mister Spot. <laughs> Mister 
Fast and Furious first turn as a PS5. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> um, I can't find that link. I think it might be a bit, a bit too far up. <clears throat> He's not getting me to send him a new PS5 if he breaks his. You told me to break it, so if I break it, you've got to send me one. You've got to buy one from Tronic Fix and then send it me. Because that's where mine come from. Tronic Fix is, I think, Tronic Fix actually wants me to do one of these as a video. Um, but yeah, there's... Uh, one nicely reballed chip. Cool. Right, I'm going to go and get my PS5. And a cup of coffee. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get my PS5 and a cup of coffee. Kiox here is the membership manufacturer. I'll drop that down. Thank you, mate. Uh, right, let me just open up. Notepad. There you go. I've got that jotted down. <coughs> Frame it now, sod the PS5. <laughs> Right, I'll be back in two minutes, guys. I'm going to go and grab my PS5. And it's, uh, it's coffee time. Hey!
Hello, mic check, mic check. Right, for some reason my light's flashing. I know the screen's gone black. Um, bear with me two seconds, and I shall sort that. There we go. Right. Oh dear. One minute. Yeah, I've got I've got the screen sorted, mate. Don't worry. Um, right. So I need I need to zoom out quite a bit there. So here's my PS Five. Um, right, there's my replacement chip. So here's my PS Five. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to turn it on so you guys know it works. Okay. So you so you know there's nothing wrong with this PS5. I'm going to turn it on now. Obviously, I can't show you on the capture card, but I have brought the PC monitor out so I can hook it up to that just to show you. Now it does turn on and it does work. So I'll leave that there. Time for the great screw off. <laughs> yep. Pretty much, mate. Um Right, I need this is gonna be tricky now. To actually show you this working. I'm gonna turn it on. Just while I'm setting up the Green. Um, but I need a, I need to find a socket to actually plug the screen into. Because now I haven't got any spare. I am going to need to swap from the wireless mic to uh, a wired wired mic in a minute before I do anything more as well. Um, right, so the PS5 has turned on, but I do want to show you it verified loading up working just so I can't make any excuses and say, Oh, it could have been broke before. I don't want to make any excuses here. I want this to be as legit as possible. Um, so, HDMI. Uh, where's that HDMI cable gone? Do, 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 do. There it is. So yeah, I want this to be as genuine as possible. So I'm going to show you actually powering on and displaying on the screen. Just so you know 100%. There you go. Your PS5 wasn't turn, turned off. Put play, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to turn the controller on and press OK, and there you go. So the PS5 turns on. And as you can see, by the account that's on there, this is my PS5. I would never, ever experiment like this with a customer's console it's my ps5 i own this device i paid for this device out my own money so if you're watching this on the video afterwards or even for anyone watching on live stream i am not experimenting on a customer's console this is my own console to experiment on and i would never ever recommend doing so 
Yeah, I'm assuming he's going to need a restore. I'm not bothered about that. I've got 1,000 megabit internet. He won't take long to download download uh, download my games again. Let's put it that way. But yeah. I'm not going to recommend... Um, I'm not going to recommend that anyone do this on a customer's console. One thing I do hate is going into these things. <laughs> Let's pretend we believe you. I really don't like going into these. I hate them. Get the software on download now. I should do, shouldn't I? I really do hate these. I still don't know how to open them properly. I really don't. I'm going to mute my mic a sec because I'm probably going to bang into it. I hate them. Oh, I absolutely hate them. Boy knuckles. <laughs> Alright. Hardest part of getting the side panels off. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I hate them, guys. I really do. Uh, yeah, what's your... What's your question, uh, Duck? What's your question, mate? Have I got a Series X? I haven't, mate. No. Unfortunately. Um, I bought this PS5 off Tronics Fix. I've only had it a few days. But one of the main reasons I bought it was for um, experimenting. So. Uh, I don't know, mate. I haven't heard of that. So I, I couldn't tell you. Um. Maybe someone in the chat will know. Finally. <laughs> right, so it should be fairly straightforward now once I've got these screws out to actually actually get the uh, the chip replaced actually yeah I'm gonna download the software quickly um, Download the reinstallation file. There we go. I'm assuming it's going to be the same, like the same hierarchy for the uh, folders. PS5 Yeah, so I'm going to create a folder called PS5 and then a folder called update and then PS5 update.pup You know, I'd, I imagine the system software would have been a bit bigger than that but apparently not There's like 28 seconds left 
I've downloaded 700 meg already. I am limited to 120 megabits per second in the workshop though, because of the length of cable. Okay, the warranty stick is still on this one. Well, let's void a warranty. So I don't think Steve's actually done anything to this console. Well, he, he obviously hasn't because the warranty stick is still on it. Damn it. Well, the things I do for you guys. Uh, I've got gigabit internet, yeah, but it's um, I'm limited to 110 megabits per second in the workshop. I don't think liquid damage will be too much of an issue on these, if I'm being honest. Maybe on the power supply, but other than that, I don't think they're going to be too much of a big deal. Uh, have I left any screws? I don't think I have. Yep, I have. Never mind. Spoke too soon. Right. Limited 200 megabits per second which shared through there. So, yeah, the problem with gigabit though is it's expensive. Gigabit's expensive. It costs me £130 a month for broadband. Which is about $170, I think. $170, $180. Big ass fans on these. Very big fans indeed. Right, one thing I've got to be careful of is the liquid metal because I don't have any to replace it with. I've got to be cautious of the liquid metal. Please repeat about the internet provider. Um, mine's Virgin Media, mate. I've got um, I've got Virgin Media Gigabit, uh, but it costs me 130, 130 quid a month. £130 a month. But to be fair, though, I mean, my internet is shared between... What am I doing? I don't need it from that side. My internet is shared between me in my house where there's God knows how many devices. I don't even know. I'd hate to find out. Um, but then my next door neighbour gives me 20 quid a month. Um, and then a woman over the road gives me 20 quid a month as well to give them Wi-Fi access. Um, so yeah, I only really pay like £90 a month, but it's not too bad. Like you said, it is definitely worth it. Not even fibre available there. Yeah, I don't know where I'd be without fibre now, I'll be honest with you. I really don't know where I'd be without fibre now. Um, I'm too used to it now. I'm too spoilt now, I'll be honest. I'm far too spoilt. Right, let's unroot these. Damn it, I don't want to rip them. Oh, well. Ah, stuffy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bit too spoilt, I'll be honest. I definitely wouldn't be able to use anything. To, like, I'll go to my sister's. My sister's on 200 meg. I'll go to my sister's and I'm like, shit, your internet's slow. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I'm like, your internet's slow. <laughs> like, and she's on 200 megabits a second. Quite funny, to be fair. Oh, I'll get more than that on Wi-Fi. On my phone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't 
download speed is 37, 37 megabits a second and it costs you 27 pounds. That's not too bad. I was actually thinking of getting rid of the gigabit and going to um, a Virgin Media broadband, a uh, Virgin Media business line for 35 pounds a month just for the broadband because for that 130 pounds a month, we get uh, I get unlimited everything on my phone, data included. Um, like the phone itself is mine. Well, actually, no, that's a lie. The phone itself is a contract, but in my sister's name. Um, I'll just use my own SIM card. But the SIM card I use is unlimited everything, and that's from Virgin Media. Um, it's also two TV boxes. Uh, so we've got multi-room on the TV, 170 channels on the TV, phone, phone line, which I don't use, and then 1,000 megabit internet. So the price isn't really that bad. I'd love to know where that is. <laughs> like I said, mate, I'm spoilt. I really am. I take it for granted. I really do. I could probably cope on the 350 megabits per second um, business line. But I'm a very impatient person. I'll be honest. Right, almost time for the moment of truth. Only about 20 screws left. Fun fact, the 60, screw, 60 screws to remove to get into this. So, um, if that doesn't put you off, then nothing will. I'm definitely thinking about investing in um, an electric screwdriver for these. I'm going to need one that's torque controlled, though. I need, I need a screwdriver that's got torque control on it. If I need an electric screwdriver. So I'm not comfortable with using electric screwdrivers. The strip threads. Yeah, Vir Virgin Media is not as covered as not as not as wide as um BT, but the areas that it does cover is pretty cool. Um, so I was always envious of Hyper Optic, um, but Hyper Optic don't do my area, and uh, I always wanted Hyper Optic, and then Virgin Media announced that they was doing gigabit, and I was like, yeah, day one, I'm having it. It's mine. <clears throat> I just had to have it. So here's the annoying thing with these. If you don't, if you don't take, um, well, I don't know. I don't know if it does do it with the other cover off, but it wobbles about too much. That's so much I need to get for this. If assuming it works afterwards, I need to get the stand for it because the stand's one thing I haven't got for this. I'm not putting this back together tonight, by the way, people. <laughs> I'll put it back together enough for testing. I'm not sitting here putting this back together tonight. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. I'm, I'm going to do this test, but that's it. And then I'll put it back together in the morning while the kids are in school. Once I've done the school run... Wow, that's on there tight. That is on there tight. Have I missed any screws out? I don't think I have. 
And that appears to... Oh, there we go. Okay, I got you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right. Okay. <laughs> That's it, unsubscribed. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> now, I'll put it back together enough for testing tonight, but... I don't think I... And it depends what time I get this finished. Hello, mic check, mic check. Right, battery finally died on the mics. Sorry about that, everyone. Uh, I was speaking, guys, sorry. Um, I was talking... One of the things I've got planned... Sorry about that, the battery died on the mic, so... Uh, which I kind of knew, but... I knew it was going to happen, but I didn't... Didn't know how quick. Um, yeah, one thing I've got planned... I want to find out if the Wi-Fi wi IC is replaceable. So that's going to be on the cards for a video as well. That's going to be a tricky one because of these connectors. So I'm going to find a way to get... Well, I'm going to remove these connectors to be able to uh, to do that, I assume. Right. There we go. Ranting about PS4 repair while the mic was dead. Ah, we love it. Ow. Right, I'm going to actually remove the other one, uh, take this out from the other side as well. I'm going to, I'm going to, oh shit, so much just fell. And I don't know what it was. Oops. So much just fell and I don't know what it was. Well, I'll figure it out, I'm sure. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to remove this from this side as well because this has never been taken apart, so. It's still got that suction there. So I'm going to get the uh, power supply unscrewed. Uh, well... I will if I if I figure out where I put my T nine. There it is. Any more screws? Nope. There is a ribbon that I've left in that. What have I left in there? No, I haven't. It's just caught. There you go. 
All right. Cool. Power supplies are a little bit of a weird design. See, he's got that seal on it, and I don't want it. I obviously don't want to be bending the board. But it's still got the factory airtight seal on it. So it's just about being careful. There you go. Seal broke. And there you go, look. There's another one with that clamp on it. There's another one with that clamp on it. Thank you, Mr. Chill, for the 4 99 I appreciate that, mate. Thank you, bud. I mean, <laughs> that heat sink makes up a massive amount of weight. Massive amount of weight. Right. Okay, so I think I got that out safely. Just wish Sony would turn the speed of the fan up. Yeah. I'm just going to try and spread some of this liquid metal back over. I'm not putting pressure on the APU itself with these tweezers. I'm just using them to spread this. The reason I'm re-spreading the liquid metal over is because I haven't got any. I've ordered some. I've ordered a 5 gram tub for £40. Or a 5 gram syringe rather for £40. But at the minute I've got none. 
Worst case scenario, I'll put thermal paste on it as a short term. I'm going to point it out as well, I could be doing this completely wrong by spreading it all the way across. I am not experienced with liquid metal. In fact, the, the first time I even saw liquid metal was when I was working, uh, was when I first opened a PS5. Obviously, I've seen it in videos, but that's about it. But yeah, I've just spread the just spread the liquid metal all the way across the IPU. I'm assuming that's how you meant to do it. I don't know. Right. Time to kill my own board. What's the problem? Nothing wrong with this at all, mate. Absolutely nothing wrong. This is for, this is purely scientific. I just want to find out if it's possible to swap the SSD. Purely for scientific experiments. I've already reballed, which you can rewind the video, but I've already taken a donor chip off uh, off a dead PS5 motherboard. And I'm uh, about to remove the SSD from my own, or remove the same chip from my own motherboard and swap it. So again, same as before, I'm going to preheat the board before I come in with the hot air. So this could very well kill my motherboard. Let me put that out there. This could very well kill my PS5. I'm under no illusions that it could kill this console. Yeah, I've, I've realised I've left the battery in, mate. Right, got some heat in the board. Uh, I'll use um, MX4, mate. Big stuff here. Uh, by Arctic. It's uh, Arctic MX4 that I'll use. Right, board preheated enough. Thank you, Thomas, for the two pound. I appreciate that, mate. Let me just turn on the fume extractor there. Best thermal paste around. One of the best, yeah. Tiny no, no, it's awesome. Uh, I'm good, thank you, Scott, mate. Cheers. Um, well, I will be if this works. Okay, there's no going back now, <laughs> there is no going back now, that is it, it is too late now.
dead. Well, technically, yes, it is now. Ow. It's also hot. <laughs> it's also hot. I can put that chip back on, yeah. If it's not heat sensitive. If it's heat sensitive, it could have killed the chip. Uh, but yeah, there is always an option to put that chip back on. Right. Time for probably one of the most dangerous parts, and that's to wick the old solder away. Definitely one of the most dangerous parts. Absolutely very little pressure, minimal pressure on this. Okay, that uh, should be good enough. Should be good enough. Just going to clean up the board. There we go. Just inspect these pads. And yep, they look fine. Absolutely fine. Good, okay. <clears throat> Pad look good.
So this is the reboard chip. Obviously, I manually reboard this. <laughs> Those are some handsome pants. <laughs> Right, we want a nice thin layer of flux here, not too much. Whoops. I'm just going to get this lined up. I mean, the good news is there's, there are guides that show you where to put it. And gone a minute. Wait, what's the deal with this? What's the deal with this? There's an extra set of balls. Why? What? This is the original chip that come off it. As you can tell by the not so perfect balls. And this is my reboard chip. They're exactly the same. No, they're not different than chips. I think this is for cross compatibility. I'm assuming this is for cross compatibility. I very much doubt that the extra row of balls is needed. Very doubtful. I don't think they're going to be like bridging anything together or anything like that. So I think this is just going to be a case of getting it perfectly lined up. I think that should be about right. Top and bottom row and I'll connect. Yeah, I thought there would be. See, the way they're assembled in the factory is the balls would go on first and then the chip would be sat on top of the balls. I think that's about right, where it is there. Yeah, I know it did, yeah. It's just a little bit confusing, that's all. So that looks about right. So I'm going to knock my airflow down to 20%. I'm actually going to come back under the normal camera. Of course the camera's gone off. But why wouldn't it? I'm basically just going to leave the heat hanging.
until I feel like he's had enough time to lock into place. I should have had long enough to lock him. I'm going to knock my airflow up to 40%. <clears throat> I'm actually going to light my smoke because I'm now a little bit nervous. And done. And done. That tip should be on and soldered. That's not a crack on the chip, it's a hair. Just a stray hair. Cool. Right, I'm going to let that cool down. Steady hands. Cheers, mate. <laughs> You've got to have in this game, mate. Is it one of the same, same pads? Uh, yes, mate, yeah. I think it's for cross-compatibility um, for different chips. You find that on a lot of boards these days. Right, okay, so... Let's give it a clean. Now that it's cooled down. And let's hope for the best. Let's hope, let's hope number one that it hasn't completely screwed up my PS5. And number two that it actually works. Because we need to be able to replace these chips. Because these are going to become a problem. Judging by what I've seen, these are going to become a problem.
Cool. Well, we'll have to say that looks rather good. That looks nice and even. Looks like it tips in position. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with it. I'm happy with how that's gone on. Right. Reassembly time. I'm going to need every bit of energy from the chat. Every bit of energy from the chat. To wish me luck. And if it kills my PS5. Then I've now got donor parts. <laughs> oh dear. Can we get a wow? We can. <laughs> okay. Uh, shit, I need the battery. Oh, I can put the battery in in a sec. Never mind. Right, so one thing I am going to be doing is screwing this clamp down as even as I possibly can. So basically a couple of turns on each, because I think it's going to make a difference. Just for the record, there's three other chips here for the SSD. There's actually six in total. There we go. Let's take a battery. And the power supply. Right, which way does it go? Uh, that way. I reckon if this is possible, I reckon it's possible to upgrade them as well. If you was to get a six chip array in a bigger in a bigger storage capacity, it would be possible to upgrade them. I would say, if this is possible, it's a big if. It's a lot to ask. It's a lot to ask for it to be possible. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Whoops. Well, this definitely wasn't on the plans for tonight, that's for sure. Alright, what's the best way to get these back in? There we go. I think that's the best way.
Right. Just enough for testing, remember? Just enough for testing. Stiff drink time. <laughs> Enjoy, mate. Uh, I think I've got everything in that I need. Just to see if it still turns on. If it still turns on, then I'll put it back together enough to actually reinstall it. Let's try. It does still turn on. So here's the question. Does it boot? Does it boot? It turns on. But does it boot? <clears throat> right, I need to find a place for the um I need to find a pla a place for the monitor. Um somewhere where I can change the um camera angle and actually show you the monitor. I'm gonna have to clear this shelf back off. And the reason I need to make sure it still boots is because I'm not putting it back together if it don't. Moment of truth, yeah. Exactly. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to bear with me a minute, guys. Right, where's my power lead? Gone. There it is. Right. Okay. Two more seconds. Nearly done. Not the easiest thing to hook up on this bench, I'll be honest. Right, HDMI in. Power lead in boot up and press and hold the power button. So there was second beep. Right, what the hell? Can you not get into safe mode on set on pressing and holding it? <coughs> I'm not getting nothing on the screen so far. Oh, 
I wouldn't get any blue light. It might be a case where you have to replace all of them. It might be a case where you have to replace all of them. Or at least three of them. Because right now this has a blue light of death. Might be testing the SSD. Maybe, but I don't think it, I don't think it would test it for that long. I'll be honest. I don't think it would test it for that long. I've tried to put it in safe mode, but it don't go in. It don't go into safe mode. Connect the drive. I don't think you need the drive. Um, right, I'm going to leave that for a minute. I'm going to leave it running there for a minute. I need to run to the toilet, guys. Um, I'll be back in one minute. I'm going to leave it turned on. I don't think the APU is even getting warm though. Right. <coughs> yeah, I mean, the SSD chips are warm. The APU's not. In fact, it's nowhere near. Yeah, I'll put the battery back in, mate, yeah. Yeah, um, the APU doesn't feel like it's getting warm. But the SSD chips on the back do. Um, and it's still... Blue light of death.
Um, yeah, I would assume that it, I would assume that it needs a partition, but I mean, realistically, it should boot into safe mode. When there's no partition there, it should boot into safe mode. Realistically, or at least you would imagine it would, but apparently not. Um. Now, can I replace all of them? I don't know. It, it's not that the fan's not connected because, um, well, the fan would, uh, I mean, Tronic Fix has already verified that it will turn on without the fan. So it's not that the fan's not connected. I know that much. Is it that this drive's not connected? Doubtful. But I'm going to verify it. I'm going to verify whether or not it's because the disk drive is not connected. Um, it's definitely that... Actually, you know what? We don't need that. Forget that. It's definitely not that the, disk, that the fan is not connected. That's that's 100% certain. <clears throat> right, where did I put the power cable? There it is. This is a cool rabbit hole. It's for science, so yeah. I'll replace all six if I have to. I will replace all six. Not tonight, but I will. Well, the disk drive button works now. The disk drive button's responsive now. Yeah, that's not booting. It would have showed up something by now. I wonder if we have fan spin. Let's find out if the fan's working. Yep. Has fan spin. But still no display. I'm going to try again to get it into safe mode. <clears throat> uh, no, that's the battery off the motherboard, mate. Yeah, see, it's not even booting into safe mode. Um, taking that long for the second beep means that it's going to turn itself off now. Yeah. Yeah, I think... Um, what, have you mixed up the boards? No, didn't mix up the boards. Definitely not. Push the button for three seconds, then let it go, then re-push and hold. Okay, I'll try that. <clears throat> right, so... One, two, three. Let go, and then push and hold. Nah. 
taking that long for the second beep, it, it'll turn, that'll turn itself off again now. Yeah, I thought it would. Um, yeah, I don't think it's possible to replace just one chip. I think it's got to be. A, I think it's got to be all of them. Um, that chip was working. Um, it's not that chip. It could be that it's just not installed. Like that is possible that it's just not soldered down properly. That's not. I'm not going to rule that out because. That is possible. That is always possible with BGA chips, always. Um, so I'm not going to rule that out. So I will try a reflow on that one chip quickly, um, before I call it a night. I mean, it's twenty to one now. But if I don't get it to come on now, it's not the end of the journey. It's not the end of the journey. Like I said, I will replace all six chips if I have to, to see if it's possible to to um, fix it. That said, <clears throat> that said as well, I will be keeping the chips in order as well, just in case they're meant to be in order. Because I don't know, and I don't think anyone knows whether they're meant to be in order. Which is why I removed the chip from. I removed the chip from that one specific, um. That one specific chip from both boards. The bottom right chip. But yeah, it's not the end of the journey if I, if, you, if I don't get it working, that's for sure. Um, I'll probably release this part as a video and then release another part as another video. Uh, like the conclusion as another video. Tomorrow, I've got to get some work done in the day. I've got eight consoles from London to do. Um, so I've got to get some work done. But then after that, like I can mess around on the night time, so I could always stream tomorrow night for the next part, if needed. I could always stream tomorrow night for the next part, if needed. Right. So I'm going to reflow this chip once more. Just to make 100% sure that it's soldered on correctly. So I'm going to turn the hot air on. Because I have had it in the past where I've soldered a RAM chip on and it ended up basically being um, not soldered properly and it didn't fix the issue. But then as soon as I reflowed it, it worked. Look, so it is possible. Yeah, I'm not really concerned about the battery, to be honest. The battery can take it. Okay, that is 100% soldered. Okay. 
I'm not worried about cleaning it. Ow. Hot though. But yeah, if this don't work, it's definitely not going to be the end of the journey for it. I'm definitely going to be continuing the experiment. The entire purpose of, buy of buying this PS4, well, not the entire purpose, I wanted a PS4, but the main reason I wanted this PS5 was to experiment on it anyway, because it was cheap. But you lo you guys are crazy for found out what I actually paid for it. Let's put it this way, it was less than half of retail price. Actually, no, it was just... Uh, not tonight, mate. I'm not going to be putting the old SSD back on tonight, because it means reboiling it again. I paid 150 for the console itself, but that was not including shipping. Um, with shipping... In total, I paid $165 for the console, paid $80 shipping, and then paid another £80 import fees. So it was... How much is $165? Um, $165 USD to... GBP, £120. So I paid £120 plus £80 in import fees, so that's £220. Uh, no, £200. Um, and then $80 shipping. Um, so I paid £260 total for this. So a little over half of retail. Uh, then I had to buy a controller. So I bought the controller for £60 as well. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, it's in the name of science and hopefully the video will make the money back at least. So, fingers crossed. Hence why I'm going to be doing this in two parts. The last video I made on a PS5 made 80 quid. So, fingers crossed I'll make the money back on it. Or at least some of it. But to be fair, I've got way more than that just in parts. So, I'm not really that bothered. I could strip it down for parts and make close to, uh, close to retail. Just in parts. <clears throat> Still no display. Cheers, Captech. Have a good night, mate. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, this ain't gonna boot. I think it's a partitioning thing. I think if anything it's gonna be a partitioning thing and it needs all six chips. I would say.
I would say it needs all six chips. I don't think it does store firmware on the SSD, or at least not the not the stuff that it stores in NOR. I think it needs all six, I'll be honest. So I think that's gonna call it for tonight. I think it sucks that it's not booting. But I do still have the chip here. Um so worst case scenario I should just be able to put that chip back on um and get it to boot. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna release this as a video tomorrow. I'll edit it in the morning. Or maybe in a little while. Um Nah, the fan's not needed, mate, 100%. Um, yeah, so I'm going to edit this into a video. I'll make this as part one. Uh, tomorrow night, once I've got a few repairs out, you know, they're actually going to pay money. I'll re some of the other chips off video. <clears throat> or maybe on video, but just time-lapse them. Um, and then, tomorrow night on stream... I'll replace the other five chips and hopefully that will get it to boot. But what I'll do is I'll replace the other two from on that one side and see if it boots with the three of them. And if it doesn't, then I'll replace the other three on the other side. But I'll reboil all five chips anyway. It's only like 132 balls, so it's not a big deal to reboil another five chips. Um <clears throat> There has to be a fa way for factory to load software. You know what? That's a good point. I might, I might get in touch with Sony's, uh, whatever department it is at Sony, because in the UK now we've got a right to repair law. So, technically, they've got to tell me. Technically, they have got to tell me, by law, how to get this to boot with by replacing just one chip. There has to be a way. For them to be able to turn it on to get the partitions on there. Now, whether or not that's whether or not it's all pre-partitioned before the SSD is soldered on, I don't know. But um, <clears throat> but yeah, I can put it back. I, yeah, I will. I will be numbering this chip. Um, I will be numbering this chip and. Uh, Obviously, I'll stick a little label or something on it to um, make sure I know which part it come off on the board. Uh, which is why I replaced that specific chip and took that specific chip off the donor board and off this board. Because that way, then, I know for a fact that I've got the orientation right. Um, uh, so, I'd have no choice, uh, Victoria. They would have no choice. Um... Also, I deserve support. Thank you, Milano, for the $5. <laughs> that goes a little bit towards paying for it. <laughs> no, I am... Um, it's... Look, I, I, I want to just... I, I just want to know for the sake of knowing. Uh, because we're going to need to replace these SSDs at some point. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean... It's worth it to me. It's worth it. And like I said, I mean, the disk drive. See, being one of the only people in the world with parts, I can dictate the prices. I could put that disk drive on eBay for 150 quid and someone will buy it. Let's be real. Like, let's let's be real. I could put that on for £150 and someone will buy it. Power supply, I could put that on for £100 someone will buy it. Um, because there's no parts available, so I can literally put it at whatever price I want to put it at. Uh, one thing I am going to do for a video as well is take the disk drive apart and explore the disk drive and just see what's in the disk drive, whether that Renesas chip or rather the Renesas equivalent of the chip is on there. Um, USB stick and controller plugged in, maybe he's looking for them. Possibly, that's a good thought. Maybe. You could be right. It might be looking for the USB. I don't think it will be looking for the controller, but it might be looking for the USB. So let me copy... Let me copy the uh, files over to, you, to a USB.
Uh, right, I'm going to format this drive, so bear with me. I'll format this using FAT32. Cool. And we're going to create a new folder called PS4. No, PS5. Sorry. And then another folder called Update. And then I need to copy the PS5 Update.pup. Thought it was my laptop making noise. Yeah, sorry, I've got desktop audio on. Sorry, mate. Jason said it needs controller for safe mode. Uh, thank you for the fourteen ninety nine, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you, Wood. Um, Sony says you need controller hooked up for safe mode. Okay, I will connect up the controller then, mate. No worries. Um, I need to go and grab a USB C cable though. Um, no, I don't. I've got USB C to USB C. So let's try. Let's try that. Right, USB C. See, here's the thing. This is literally uncharted waters for me because I've never had to do it before, so... I don't know. I'm going to cry now if that's literally all it needs. Well, I'll be happy as well, but... <laughs> right, so how do you get into safe mode, then? Let me have a look. Uh, but where does it say that about getting into safe mode for the PS5? <clears throat> right, so I've got the USB ready. Right, will the controller turn that on then? Although I don't think that's gonna be I don't think he's gonna go into safe mode by the controller turning it on. Because it's uh Oh trying to fix video. Oh okay. That noise is annoying. What noise? I can turn desktop audio off. There you go. Desktop audio is off. You will still hear it come through my microphone, though, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think that's going to go into safe mode. Uh... Right, so... Now it's got the controller hooked up and the USB. I'm going to try... The press and hold for the second beep. <clears throat> no. 
Nah, that's not going to go into safe mode. Took too long for the second beep. Took too long for the second beep. Nope. And then press the PS button. That's interesting. Okay, that beeped again then. But I'm wondering, did that turn it on? Because it was turning itself off. I still don't think it'll go into safe mode though, I'll be honest. <coughs> yeah, it's not going to go into safe mode. I, I think it's because it needs all six chips to be... to have the correct partition on it. So I think... Peter says no. No, I'm waiting long enough. The second beep is coming, but it's just longer than seven seconds. It, it's it's the same second beep that you get when you get a blue light of death on a PS4. Um, so basically, it's when you get a blue light of death on a PS4 and you try and go into safe mode because it could be the hard drive. Um, when it's not the hard drive, you get a longer beep uh, or a longer wait between the two beeps. And then instead of it, going into safe mode it just turns off um so i'm at, i am actually waiting for that second beep yeah i agree you shouldn't care about what's on the chips but at the same time you can get a blue light of death on a ps4 because of the hard drive um <clears throat> so it could be causing a blue light of death because the hard drive chips are mismatched. Or not mismatched, but the partitions are... Okay, that's weird. It's just turned itself back on. What the hell? Uh, yeah, it could be that the partitions are mismatched and that's causing it to um, have a blue light of death because it can't read the hard drive. Because when you get a blue light of death on a PS4, because of the hard drive, it's because it can't access the hard drive at all and it's stuck on a certain part of accessing the hard drive. That's why you get the blue light of death on a PS4 with the hard drive. Uh, so that usually happens when the disk drive read heads start to um, lock up. Like when the disk drive read head locks up, that's what causes it. I think it needs all six chips. Um, yeah, it's, it's one of them. I mean, like, like I said, worst case scenario, I've still got this chip here. Um, that's obviously come off my motherboard, so I'll try. I'll try and get it. I'm just gonna turn the monitor on once more, just make sure. Um, but yeah, I'll try and get it to um, to accept an SSD swap by replacing all six chips tomorrow. It's a bit late to do it tonight now. Try the USB upgrade stick. I've got it in there, mate. The USB upgrade stick's in there. Uh, but yeah, I'll try and replace all six chips, but just not tonight. I'll do that tomorrow for part two. Um, but I'm going to leave it there. It's it's just past 1am. Um, it's quite late. All in the name of science, that's for sure. And uh, it's been fun anyway, so... <laughs> yeah. Um, thank you all for hanging out. Like I said, it's been fun. I will turn this bit into a video. And release that to my left, if I can. And then, uh, what did Nathan say? Connect the controller with the USB cable and press the PS. I've tried that, mate. I did. I did just try that. Um, that didn't work either. Um.
Right, so I'm just, I'm just waiting for this to shut off. But I, I did try I did try it with the controller. So it's, it's trying to turn itself on with the controller. But it's just not having any of it. Insert Wi-Fi card. Uh, not sure what you mean. Yeah, so they, they, there's me trying to turn it on with the controller. There's a procedure. Connect the controller with the USB cable and press the PS button on the controller. Yeah, I've tried all that, mate, with the um, pressing and holding for seven seconds. He's not having any of it, mate. I've tried. I've tried the. I've tried. I've tried the press and hold, like turn it off, and then turn it on with the controller. Uh, turn it off and then turn it on. Hold. Wait for the second beep and then plug the controller in. I've tried that. Um, it's uh, it's not having any of it. Right, so that's, well, that's about to turn off right now. I have Googled it, Jason. I've seen the instructions. I've tried them. I've genuinely tried them. See, it's trying to turn itself back on with the controller. Like, it keeps trying to turn itself back on. Like, there's, there's no way I can do it. It's trying to turn itself back on with the controller, even with the controller turned off. Like, genuinely, it's just in a boot loop. There's nothing I can do with it. It's genuinely in a boot loop. Look, I can... I can unplug it. Wait for the controller to turn off. Which it will do in a minute. <clears throat> yeah, the controller shouldn't be needed to boot into safe mode. That's just the extra step that's been listed there because it needs the controller to be able to navigate safe mode. Honestly. Like, I'm not going to touch it. But the steps on the website... is turn off the PS5 by pressing the power button. Tried that, but every time I do it that way, it turns it back on because the controller's synced up. With the system completely off, press and hold the power button again. Connect the controller with the USB cable and press the PS button on the controller and your PS5 is now starting in safe mode. But exactly like the PS4, if you press the... If you press and hold the power button, it will boot into safe mode, display on the screen, and then you connect your controller. It's exactly the same as that. It's not you don't need the controller to be connected up to be able to boot it into safe mode. Like it'll turn it'll it'll load up in safe mode without the controller. <clears throat> but genuinely I can I can press and hold the power button. So I'm going to press and hold the power button now. One, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Press the PS button. But it's not going to boot into safe mode. And that was 12 seconds, not 7. That's what I'm trying to say. It, it, it's not booting into safe mode. It's not going to boot into safe mode. The, pressing and holding it doesn't turn it on. It doesn't give you the second beep after 7 seconds. It gives you after 12. There is no second beep. It's literally just turning the console off. And then that third beep is because I've pressed the PS button. And it's turned the, controller, turned the console straight back on. Because the controller is linked to the PlayStation. That's what the third beep is. Boot through Windows. <laughs> it's not a dead GPU, mate. <clears throat> that's, that's literally all it is. It's, it's boot looped. Because it can't recognise the SSD. That's it. But like I said, I'll try... I'll try and get it sorted. I'll try and replace the other five chips and see if that actually allows it to boot tomorrow. Um, uh, no, they don't specify a time on the PlayStation websites, but others, other websites reference it as seven seconds. Um, but it's genuinely not... Like that would have a white light now if it went to safe mode. It's just literally... It's boot looping because of the SSD. It's it's not possible to just replace one one chip. That's that's a guarantee. It's not possible to replace just one chip. I think it's going to be either all six chips or none at all. That's the problem. If it's none at all, that's a big frigging problem. Uh, no, the cable works, mate, hundred percent. I can connect this up to my laptop right now, and um, and it'll display straight away, hundred percent. Um. Oh, I'm connecting this to my laptop. Ding, ding, ding. And then if I flick over. Yeah, so. That's connected to my. There's my secondary. Uh, well, there's the monitor with that HDMI cable. I'm going to unplug this cable. Thank you, Sally, for the uh, 99 pence. I appreciate that. I'm going to plug it into the PS5. Um, nothing. Nada. So, no, it's definitely not the cable. 100% it's not the cable. It's definitely in a boot loop. 100%. Uh, but, you know, I kind of expected that. But this is just part one. This is the first, the first part of the experiment. I'll carry on experimenting tomorrow. But yeah, um, thank you all for hanging out tonight. It's certainly been interesting. Yeah, I agree. It does depend on the partition. It yeah. I will try and contact him and see if I can give me some info. Yeah, he does a hard reset, Jinxie. Yeah, exactly, mate. But yeah, thank you all for hanging out. I'm going to end it there. It is quarter past one in the morning for me. So. Yeah, thank you all for hanging out. It's been fun. I will catch you all tomorrow.